question three here requires us to start using our log laws because we want to simplify them from log 8 plus log 16 both in base A. How can we simplify it? Well we know by our log law that we have to, we can multiply them because we're adding there we can multiply. So we get log of 128 in base A. This time log through log base 3 in both so 54 and 18 we can divide. 54 divided by 18 would give us log of 3 in base 3. Now remember because the base and the number are the same our answer is going to be 1. Log of 7 and log of 1 seventh in both in base M we can multiply we just apply in that rule. 7 times 1 seventh is log of 1 doesn't matter that it's base M the answer would be 0. In D we've got log in both in base 2 I can play around I'm using and use this rule where I go 2 at times log of 3 would be the same as log of 3 squared or log of 9 so that's where and then because we're subtracting we get 18 divided by 9 can become 2 the base is the same as the number so we end up with 1 in E here again we we're doing division here now this is different this is not a this is not one of the rules so there's log of 49 divided by log of 7 not log of 49 divided by 7 where we can do a subtraction so be really careful that we're not making an error that this is that we're going to do um start to divide just divide in the and get log of 7 in base 10 because it's not so we play around with the rule 49 7 squared which is the same as two lots of log 7 and divided by log 7 gives us just two because now they can cancel now the thing is because in log 10 you could do that on the calculator not a problem you couldn't do this one on the calculator because this is different so log of y cubed is the same as 3 lots of log y and the log y and the log y then would cancel leaving us with 3. Log all base 10 so I can use my rules here and, and I, I can use them in a number of ways because it's log plus log there so I get, I get three cu 5 cubed 5 squared and 5 and this is just one way to do it there's other ways to do this but this is probably the most elegant the 3 comes down, the 2 comes down there, and that gives me 6 lots of log 5 in base 10. And then log of 10 to the power of x with base 10. Again, the x can come down using that rule. And log 10 in base 10 would be 1. It just leaves us x. So you can start applying those log laws in, in lots of different ways. Be really careful not to make errors uh, with them though.